Well, here's the headline. The World Health Organization to rename monkeypox because racism. Well, of course. I mean, why does anybody do anything now except for that? Because after all, I mean, somebody somewhere might be offended for no reason. So better deal with it now. But of course, uh, we all love the World Health Organization. Or, wait a second. Actually, no, we don't. Aren't these the guys who just uh, in early 2020 just repeated uncritically everything that China told them? Uh, meanwhile, uh, a certain virus was spreading all over the world. Oh, yeah, that's those guys. Well, they're not good for much, are they? Apparently, they're now consulting experts in orthopox viruses on finding a more appropriate name. So where is the racism here exactly? I'm not sure I get it. Monkeypox says the World Health Organization will be changing the name of monkeypox over concerns of racism and stigma that surround the virus that has infected over 1,600 people across 20 countries. Now, I'm not the World Health Organization. Seems like 1,600 people across the world. Not that many, really. But anyway, the uh, WHO director said on Tuesday that it is, quote, working with partners and experts from around the world on changing the name of the monkeypox virus, its clades, and the disease it causes. A new name, they say, will be released as soon as possible. Well, as we saw with the COOF, I mean, they're not really doing anything anyway, so I guess they might as well focus on this. But I have to say, I'm really not seeing where the racism is coming from here. I mean, if it were called, I don't know, Africa pox, I mean, I guess that would make more sense. But it's called monkey pox. Monkeys are not just in Africa. They're in Central America, South America, and Asia as well. So I'm still not seeing why they're not okay with monkey pox. And God knows what they're going to change it to. I mean, I mean, I guess they must be woke. So I, diversity pox, although I think that would probably be an own goal. Anyway. Apparently, over 30 scientists said last week that there was an urgent need for a non-discriminatory and non-stigmatizing nomenclature for the monkeypox virus. They argue that, quote, the prevailing perception in the international media and scientific literature is that the MPXV is endemic in people in some African countries. However, it is well established that nearly all MPXV outbreaks in Africa prior to the 2022 outbreak have been the result of spillover from animals to humans, and only rarely have there been reports of sustained human-to-human -human transmissions. In the context of the current global outbreak, continued reference to a nomenclature of this virus being African is not only inaccurate, but it is also discriminatory and stigmatizing. But hold on a second here. When did monkeypox first appear? This is from cdc.gov. Monkeypox was first discovered in 1958 when two outbreaks of a pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research, hence the name monkeypox. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Kind of seems like that's where it's from, right? Oh, I'm sorry, but I forgot. Knowing the place something came from is, uh, is evil now. I forgot about that. And uh, one thing that I find very interesting about this is that they uh, tell us not to listen to the uh, scientific literature that says it's endemic to some African countries, because I thought we were supposed to follow the science, but apparently we're only supposed to follow the science that's uh, woke, I guess, or, you know, in other words, uh, not science. But anyway, but again, I, I'm still not seeing how this is racist. They say the most obvious manifestation of this is the use of photos of African patients to depict the pox lesions in mainstream media in the global north. Recently, Foreign Press Association Africa issued a statement urging the global media to stop using images of African people to highlight the outbreak in Europe. I don't know, maybe because that's where it's endemic, that's where they get all the photos from, maybe, I don't know. Again, I still don't see how it's racist. But let's see here. At Time reports that other disease names that run counter to the guidelines include swine flu, uh, chicken pox, and bird flu as well. So I don't know. Are those racist too? I, I mean, I guess if you just assume that everything is racist these days, uh, then I guess so. I guess they better get on chicken pox next and bird flu. 
But what else are they saying? They're saying, quote, uh, naming diseases should be done with the aim to minimize the negative impact and avoid causing offense to any cultural, social, national, regional, professional, or ethnic groups. Was anybody actually offended by monkeypox? Or should I say, was there one sane person who was offended by this? I, I can't help but thinking maybe they should just focus on stopping the spread of the diseases instead of the names of them. So even though they're not very good at doing what they're supposed to be doing, they are good at uh, making everything make absolutely zero sense. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. It's, it makes a big difference. I notice it when people share my content. Thank you very much for that. I'll see you next time.